Today we're upgrading the headlights on this 2002 Honda Civic. First you need to remove the fluid container on the driver's side to get access to the bulb. Just wiggle and pull it up and set it to the side. Pull the dust cover off. So now we're going to move over to the passenger side because this side is easier for us to shoot to show you at home. So now you'll be able to see the bulb. This is an aftermarket HID bulb size H4 and as you can see it's held together by a spring and a clip here. Release the bulb by pushing up on the latch and unclip it. After you unclip it, pull the bulb out. Disconnect it by simply unplugging it. So here's a comparison of the two bulbs. The HID has two separate bulbs. The little one is for the high beam and the other is for the low. On the LED bulb, the chip position mimics the filament position of the original bulb and they have the same H4 mil plug. This is the LED driver. This maintains the LED operating temperature. And over here, this is the ballast for the HID bulb. It's totally different from the LED driver. Also, on this model LED, the securing bracket is adjustable to create a perfect beam angle. The bracket is also removable to assist with proper assembly. Here is a quick example of what happens when you try to install the bulb without first removing the bracket. The light will be able to rest in the housing but the clip won't be able to fit over the fan to secure it. So let's go ahead and remove the bracket and install that first. Get it in position and then latch the clip to secure it. Before you insert the bulb, be sure to plug it in. When you install the bulb, make sure you have the same beam pattern. This is the correct position. The lower further back LED chip is your high beam. When the light reflects, it reflects upwards. And the top forward LED chip is your low beam. So when the light reflects, it reflects down onto the road. Remember, this is the correct beam angle. To install, first insert the bulb through the dust cover. Make sure the beam angle is correct and just push it in until it clicks into place. Here it is again without the dust cover. Push it in until it clicks and locks into place. You can try to rotate it a little bit to make sure it is locked. Use a zip tie to tie down and secure the driver. 